Good morning, Year 10. All of the following guidance is about coming back to school safely and for the safety of all of our staff. So please follow the guidance and we'll take you through what we're expecting you to do as from next week. If you or anyone in your family is displaying any of the symptoms of COVID-19, you must stay at home and not come into school. Then you must follow the guidance about self-isolation. If you can come into school, make sure you are in full school uniform. The same rules apply. Make sure you've got your blazer on, your tie, your top buttons done up, and smart school shoes, not trainers. You're only going to be in school for one session, one day a week to start off with. So you can make sure then that your clothes are thoroughly cleaned for the next time that you're in school. You'll need to bring a bag with all the equipment you would need for normal lessons. Pens, pencils, rulers, rubber, a calculator, and any books you may have for English, maths, and science. If any of these are missing, you'll be given one new exercise book in which you can do all of your work when you are in school. Also, bring your planner for any notes you may be given. Although we do have some left, why not bring a jotter or a notebook instead? Pupils are being asked to bring a water bottle as well as a snack. The canteen will be open for pupils' parents who have already indicated on the survey they will need some food. Orders for this will be taken in the morning and it will be a grab bag service delivered to the classrooms later on. The school day will be slightly different. We're not going to start until after 8.30. So if you are coming to school walking, cycling, public transport or being dropped off in a car, you must not arrive before 8.30. You'll be sent a letter which states the time for you to arrive, 8.35, might be 8.40, etc. Pupils travelling in to school by school bus will come into school at your usual time. You'll be directed to M2 when you arrive and you go to your designated classroom at 8.30. You must exit and enter the building via visitor reception and not pupil services. The four groups in school will have staggered start times so that we can enter the building one student at a time. We'll also be finishing early at around 12 o'clock depending on which group you're in. The school buses will collect pupils at around midday but please resist the temptation to hang around in groups afterwards. You'll have three learning sessions each day, with each one lasting an hour, and they'll be in your core subjects, English, Maths and Science. Afternoons will then be your own, but we do urge you to look at RE and your option subjects, just to keep up to date with all of your learning. When possible, we would prefer that you walk to school or brought your bike, and we know that some of you will be dropped off in the car park. If you have to use public transport, get in the bus or the train, you'll have to wear a mask, and when you get to school, just take it off, make sure you put it somewhere secure, like in a carrier bag, and place that at the bottom of your bag. If we do have to evacuate the building for whatever reason, you will be guided towards the top yard. Again, we ask that you keep a two metre distance from the person in front and behind you. Once outside, stand in alphabetical order facing the Clitheroe building and wait silently until you are back in your mobile base. You will then be guided back into the building when it's deemed safe to do so, but keep that safe distance at all times. Inside the classrooms, you'll find that the windows are open just to provide adequate ventilation. You'll also find that most of the doors are propped open. This is to make sure that you don't have to touch door handles. You will find fire doors obviously have to remain closed, but when we do prop the doors open, if you do have to touch the door handle at all, make sure you sanitise your hands. You'll find around the corridors that there are sanitizers, but please feel free to bring your own bottle. When you're in the classroom, you'll notice that all of the desks and the chairs have been put a two metre distance apart, so you will be separated. You will have an allocated seat in an allocated classroom in the M building where you must stay until you are told otherwise. When there is a change of session, it's your teacher who will move and not you. If you need to cough or sneeze, it might happen. Please use a tissue. Again, bring your own, but there will be some in each classroom provided for you. Remember, catch it, bin it, kill it and sanitise your hands afterwards. A reminder also, try not to touch your face when you are in a classroom. The toilets you'll be using will be the ones in the M block, in the science area. These will be cleaned regularly, but please do your bit to ensure that they remain tidy. 
Only one person will be allowed at any time. Remember, thoroughly wash your hands afterwards for 20 seconds or more. If you have to, sing happy birthday twice. You will have a break after either the first or second session, depending on which group you're in, where your teacher will take you back down to the top yard and you'll be asked again to maintain the social distance. You can leave your equipment in the room, but you may need to take your drink and your snack. If it is a wet break time, you will have to stay in your classroom. That's the only way we can do it. After the third session, you'll be escorted to visit your reception again to leave in an orderly manner when it's considered safe to do so. Obviously, this will be staggered with 40 students in. Each group will be leaving one at a time. This might take slightly longer than usual, but please be patient and bear with us. When you're leaving school, please do so straight away, maintaining the social distance and not waiting for others who may be coming from a different group. You'll notice markers on the floor which point out the two metres distancing. Please keep to the distancing rules to help keep people apart. If you do feel ill during the day, you must inform your class teacher who will press the on-call button for a member of the inclusion team or the senior leadership team. If necessary, you will then see one of the first aiders. Should you feel that you have COVID-19 symptoms, they may be wearing PPE. They will arrange for someone to collect you straight away. In the meantime, you will be asked to wait in the meeting room opposite visitor reception. It's massively important year 10 that we all work together to return to school as safely as we can. Unfortunately, if we do find people that are putting others at risk and breaking any of the rules on purpose, we'll have to send them home and a fixed term exclusion may be issued. I do need to say how impressed St Mary's staff have been with your contributions at home, as well as those in your local communities. We know that you will rise to another challenge and do your bit in whatever time we have remaining. I hope you found this video useful and informative and remember, stay safe and we'll see you soon. Should there be any questions, I'm sure there will from you or your parents, do email me and I'll be in touch as soon as I possibly can with an answer.